You're listening to Pet World Radio, and this is the Addictive Reef Keeping with Tyler Johnson. Stay tuned for live chats, expert guests, tips and tricks, product reviews, and many more topics. All right, guys, Tyler Johnson here. I think this is the video you guys have pretty much been waiting for. It's pretty much how this tank works, how the plumbing works, um, basically my uh, video footage of me trying to build it. I have some tanks that I drilled. Um, unboxing of the supplies like the Union Seals, some of the Black Egg Crate, um, the lice getting installed, a little bit of building the box, just pretty much footage of this system. Now what I'm going to do in this video guys is that stuff's kind of boring to me because I've already posted the system uh, multiple times. I just haven't edited all of this footage on building this um, in a video yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over the tank right now. I'll talk to you guys how I figured out my plumbing, how I'm able to utilize the flow that goes into this tank, into my frag tank. And uh, I'll just uh, kind of explain it all to you and then after that you guys can watch uh, some of the footage of me unboxing some products, uh, me uh, trying to install some things, and, uh, and that's about it. So if you guys have any questions or things that you wanted to know during this video, just post a comment down below and I'll help you guys out. So, as you guys can see, I have added a 12 gallon tank to my 40 breeder system that I've had for quite some time now and as you guys can see that water just surged into the tank and it does that via a toilet flapper and uh, basically what happens is the water comes into the tank on the other side of this where that skimmer is and pours into here and then goes down this algae scrubber and then completes its, completes its cycle into the 40 breeder. Now what you guys don't know is how all this plumbing works. So I'm going to get a ladder guys, I'll show you how I utilize this PVC 1 inch for flow on my frag tank as well as these other two tanks. Alright guys, so we're up top and as you guys can see I've put in a series of three holes on this side of the tank. Uh, this being a full siphon, which is one inch, and the other, which is an open drain, is one inch as well. And then we have a return here, which also splits into another return on the other side of the tank, and I'll get into a brief explanation of what that is in a little bit. But before I built this, guys, I didn't know if it was going to work. You know, two tanks at the same height, um, trying to create a full siphon so I can create enough flow in that tank. And for the most part, guys, it worked. Um, as you guys can see, I can't put any coral in front of it because it's just ripping too fast, too much flow. I had a piece of Red Planet all the way down at the very end of this, and the flesh ended up tearing off of it. So I have it over here healing, which is right there down at the bottom. Um, but other than that, guys, this system works really well. As you guys can see, here's the other drain for the tank. It drains into there. Very, very, very little air bubbles. And then over there, um, that water drains in from the skimmer section and goes into this tank right here. Now I don't get a lot of flow off of those guys. Um, for some reason it wasn't as much flow as I thought it was going to be so I had to add a maxi jet 1200 and I went ahead and just uh, created a little mini spray bar and this pump turns on for one minute and then shuts off for three minutes. So it pretty much creates a, a good amount of flow in here helps everything thrive and as you guys can see everything looks really healthy being under just a 12 watt blue and white LED from Jacobs Parts. Guys only paid 18 bucks for that bulb and I'm lighting this whole entire frag tank no problem whatsoever. So good idea on those bulbs guys. 
they work really well. Um, so if you guys wonder where I'm getting the flow for this tank, I have installed a squid, that's what people call them. Um, Dr. Foster's and Smith's Selby's, and basically what it does is it's three quarter, and inside there is some gears and it alternates the flow of water through one side to the other depending on how much pressure you have coming into the into the unit so the higher the pressure the faster it's going to switch back and forth but also remember guys that it does slow down flow it doesn't bother me at all because there's plenty of flow in the tank so let's go ahead jump in front of the 12 gallon and I'll show you this in action all right guys, so as you guys can see, this is the 12 gallon. Still kind of new, still kind of fresh. I don't really have the aquascaping or or I guess the plant life um, up to par yet. But as you guys can see, I guess we'll just kind of look at the bubble tip and enemy in the middle and the flow is gonna alternate from this three quarter 45 to this three quarter duck bill right here. And the water's just going to surge on, going this way for a few minutes, or I guess about 20 seconds or 15 seconds, and then this will surge for the same amount of time. Like I said, guys, the higher the pressure, the faster it'll switch back and forth. But, as you guys can see, it provides plenty of flow on this bubble tip. There it goes, surging from the right. and surgeon from the left. So unfortunately guys, I don't have tremendous amounts of flow in this tank. Um, I'm kind of stuck trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this off at the moment. I haven't really tried, but I know I have this screwed on pretty tight and I kind of need to get a 45 to kind of help produce more flow. But for now guys, it's doing really good. I have the uh, Red Planet SPS right there that I've been growing under these ABIs for the last two weeks and it's already starting to encrust on there quite well. So I do need to figure out how to increase the flow just a little bit more rapidly in here. Maybe somehow install a spray bar right there, but I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and hop down the ladder real quick. All right, guys, so that's pretty much how it runs. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, you know, as this water level kind of rose a little bit higher, this siphon starts to slow down, and the water level in here starts to rise. So it didn't work as well as I wanted it to. Um, I wish I had room to put in a spray bar in here, which I might run a, a half-inch spray bar down the center of this and just build a crate around it and let it... Uh, disperse its flow throughout that frag tank but for now guys it's working I love the way it turned out it's one of my favorite tanks I've ever built and uh, I enjoy it a lot so thanks for watching guys this part now you guys can sit back and uh, kind of check out some more footage of uh, trial and error on putting this tank together. Alright guys, so I just got my bulk reef supply order to finish the multi-tank system. I got my black egg crate for my 5.5 and I got my strainers for my 1 inch 90's I got my 3 quarter union seals and my 1 inch union seals. And if you guys aren't familiar with these these things are amazing. They're pretty much um, the only thing you can really use on a curved surface like a 55 gallon barrel or a do it yourself protein skimmer or some of those big skimmers uh, you just pop these in and wedge whatever size pipe it is and this one's one inch and it basically expands this against the glass this one is only a dollar ninety nine so think about that guys a regular bulkhead that uh, is made out of plastic and has the nut in the back or anywhere from eight bucks. Some people even sell them for more than that. Um, I believe uh, bulk resupply sells them for about five bucks. But if I was going to have to do that, it would have cost me right around sixty-four bucks to get all my union seals for this job. Now it only cost me nineteen bucks. Um, 
these also eliminate the use of a union in a small area. There's some plumbing back here that I'm not going to be able to fit a union in because I only have about, you know, an inch in, on each side of my ball valve in order to, re, to make that happen. So when it's time to move or break down the system, I just uh, pop my pipe out and I'm ready to go. So these things are amazing. They save a lot of money. So I'm going to get to putting these on the tank and uh, basically getting this tank all pumped up. So, see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm getting ready to paint my lighting cabinet for the 12 gallon long Mr. Aqua. Um, I use this portion 4 paint from True Value. It's kind of hard to get, but man, this stuff is amazing. You brush it on and you walk away, even though you can see the brush marks, it uh, flattens out nice and level and really, really, really durable. So I'm gonna paint this. I just got done sanding all of my wood putty spots where all of this whole structure got screwed together. I just basically made a box and uh, after I paint this black, I'll show you guys my other design to make this float over my 12 gallon tank and uh, hopefully it'll be kind of cool looking. So let me finish painting this guys and I'll fill you in later. Well as you guys can see the frag tank did not make the drill. Um, unfortunately my bit was probably too dull because what it does is when it gets into here right before it breaks through it almost stops the chuck. Um, that's how worn out the bottom and sides are and then when you get up to the sides that only touch it for a, just a quick second um, really expands the hole quick and it cracked this tank. Unfortunately this is one of those Tetra tanks which uses probably half the thickness of an Aquion 5.5 so it's extremely hard to drill as it is. So as you guys saw in the picture or the title of this video, I uh, I did not go with the 5.5. I just uh, put my frag tank where my skimmer is and uh, made a new skimmer tank. And as you guys can see, I shattered this one. This is a 14 gallon tall. Um, there was no norm nomenclature on there telling me it was tempered or not. And I didn't do the trick. But uh, as you guys can see, it just shattered. As soon as my hole saw got all the way through, it just shattered. I'm not too worried about it. The tank um, I got for free, so um, that was just me in a pinch trying to get the job done and uh, not taking the time to do the research. But let's go check out the tank, and I think you guys will be pretty impressed on how it turned out. Well, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for some of my upcoming projects. I will be uh, converting my hot tub over to a viewable fish tank from uh, the side of it. So I'll be installing an acrylic window and also doing some uh, foam and live, live rock work on the sides of the tank. So it ought to be an interesting build. I'll have some videos coming out on that pretty soon. So... Thanks for watching guys and happy reefing.